Welcome back to the hookup with Soak Up. Day three, Kissimmee Chain of Lakes, NPFL, final event of the season. Starting the day in 11th place, looking to move into the top 10. He is a two-time champ of the NPFL, the Bass Tank Pro from Sepulpa, Oklahoma. Put your hands together for the hookup, John Soka. 17 pounds, 11 ounces, a two-day total of 35 pounds, 11 ounces. It's going to put John Soka right there in 11th place. Let's see. There's the boom right there for John Soka. Day three starts out and we've got a calm morning. It had been blowing, blasting wind on day two. So I go into the area on day two that was really heavily wind blown to start the day. And I'm trying to pluck around because I have a belief that this heavy wind has pushed a lot of these fish out of the grass. I'm gonna look around and see what I can establish. It's a decent keeper to start, but not really what we're looking for. We're definitely trying to push the 20 pound class on this final day. And sometimes guys in Florida, it's all about the area that you're in. When you know you're in an area that has fish, you gotta just try different techniques. And that's what you see me doing this morning. I'm trying different things to figure out how to get bigger bites and more of them. But as you'll see, I have to switch, change to a bottom bait. I'm trying to keep them honest, keep that punching bait going, flipping the grass. You know, you'll see me move from inside the grass to the outside edge trying to find these active fish. <laughs> that's one of the ones that we're looking for that is the bite that tells me to stay doing what i'm doing at least for a little bit five more of those we got 20 pounds Many guys, I can't tell you how many of these fish did exactly that. We'd go down the bait, grab it for a second, and spit it out without eating it. It, 
it's a typical Florida morning that you hear about where the fish are being very finicky. Now I'm catching them, but I ain't catching the big ones. The big ones are being really finicky. I know there were some guys blasting them that morning. I wasn't on that school of fish where I was blasting them, but I was having a good day, feeling pretty good about the weight that I'm starting to accumulate this early in the morning. I've got 15. I don't want to screw you up. Yeah. But I can't, I had one on a jerk bait. I can't get him to eat the jerk bait yet. I can't get him in the grass. Not in the grass. I can't get them in the grass. I'm sure they're there. But here's what here's my theory, dude. All this got wind blown, wind blown, wind blown, right? So back in there, I got a couple little holes back in there, right? I figured they all kind of hid and then they'd kind of come out this morning and they are. But they won't bite a jerk bait. They're not aggressive enough to do that. I just left like five waypoints and I didn't even fit. Well, just like right now, I don't see no fish because I, I've caught a couple five pounders here. I think I think it got too blown, wind blown yesterday. So these fish probably got pushed back forever or whatever. Like I don't even see them. But I got a spot back there I just left. I was catching two and a half pounders. I got to leave. Really? Yeah. Are they still biting? Yeah, but it's been real slow. I kept the chill motor down for two hours and plugged on me. It's not, it's not. So I'm going to, I think I'm, before the wind picks up, I think I'm going to go hit the islands too. I mean, I got a four, I got a four and a half and a large three and a half. And then the rest are two and a halves. I'm, uh, I probably should just go head hunting the rest of the day and see if I can get, Yep. Just, just, just be aware. You can't get them. If you can't get them on your jerk bait. Okay. All right, guys. You recognize this spot from day two, but I'm going to tell you, it is heartbreak city to start with. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but you're going to see here three giant fish lost they are not eating the jerk bait right they're eating it on the outside of their face my gear is all correct guys i may have should have done something different with my hooks uh in hindsight but i was landing them pretty good on day two so this kind of took me by surprise i think that florida i talked to a lot of guys that were losing a lot of fish on day three so this was just a common thing with how they were eating on day three but it still doesn't feel good to lose this many fish. You're gonna see him lost by the side of the boat. One of the fish you're gonna see, guys, watch me doofus this thing and I get my line tanged up around the troll motor. 100% my fault. So, once again, lots of fish lost here, but the positive side, I know that I've, this school that had three and a half pounders in it yesterday now has five plus pound fish. My goal is to stick with this school once I see that there's five pounders in there and try my hardest to catch five five pounders and get to 25 pounds.
Well, there goes the first five pounder. Trying to be careful with this one since I just lost a five pounder. You can see it on the top of the water. It's another big one, five to six pounder. Trying to be careful with my line and my drag. And I did not pay attention to the trolling motor. You're gonna see here in a second. Tangled up in the trolling motor, boom, knocked it off. Operator error, fish number two lost. I just lost three five pounders in a row, dude. My heart freaking is pissed. Yeah. No, dude, I'm, I'm still shaking. I'm kind of upset. If they'll set up right, they'll bite again, I think. One might have been bigger, I'm calling it a five. The other I screwed up and got it tangled around the dang trolling motor. Oh, dude. I did catch a three and a half though, I gotta put it, I gotta update it. You guys may wonder who I'm visiting with. You know, they've got me tracked on live when we report our fish weight, and that is actually uh, James Watson and the camera crew. Uh, apparently, I was moving up in the standings quite a bit, so they came and found me to see what was going on. Well, they pulled up to me right as I had just lost my third five pounder, and as you can hear me say, I wasn't too happy with my performance at that time. So I stick with this school uh, as the camera boat, and, and I get on some, you know, NPFL live. Full break on that one? Yeah. Freaking. That's how my morning's going right there. <laughs> I got a top freaking. It's not even going to help. Stay back just a touch, please, man, because I'm kind of a little bit close. Now I got to find a drop shot rod I can reach high. Good night. <laughs> I think I <laughs> Golly, dude. People are like, man, you've been whacking. I'm like, dude, I've been fishing horrible. I'm just around big fish. That's all that's bailing me out, dude. Well, as you can see, guys, somehow I still get the little ones in. But at some point during the day, I had stepped on my rod and damaged it, and I didn't know it. I, I went to flip that fish in, and I ended up breaking my rod. So, like I said, I'm not fishing good. Luckily, I've stumbled into a massive load of big fish. Uh, I've got about 17 pounds of the boat right now at this point. So my mindset is, I got half a day left. I am gonna work up and down and come back to these fish continually and try to figure out if these big five plus pounders will school up in a way that I can get them to bite. Stay there. Yes, 
you can see that fish was barely hooked on the outside of the face of this fish. In Florida, a lot of these big ones fight fish. They use their eyes. And when they're not really hungry, they come up and just nudge it. And that's what's been going on with these fish. They've been just barely nudging it and getting the outside of their face. It's not going to help. I'm wishful thinking here. I busted up that school so much, hooked so many fish, lost them, landed so many fish that I needed to give it a rest. So I go ahead with the sun out and I pick up a flipping stick and I go down the bank. And I go down there for quite a while and I land on a couple of fish. A couple decent ones that actually help. <laughs> not getting the size that I need to actually upgrade in that 20 pound class. So I make the move back to the school at the end of the day and I start working them over. They're set up just right when I pull up. Now they don't go firing 
like I want them to one after another, but we do figure some things out. As you can see at the end of the day here, when I pick up the drop shot, I hook one of those good ones and we get them in the boat, we get to see exactly what they were. I told you they were big. Man, it's a six pounder. 
Oh my gosh, I can't stop to thinking what it would have been like if I would have landed four others. I mean, I had the, the four others the same size on. I had a chance at a 25 to 30 pound sack that day. guys still grinding it out catch a four pounder at the very end coal probably another half pound probably another good coal and here we go to the weigh-in <laughs> he goes what's he doing up here i'll tell you what dw did up there dw came in with a hammer bag that's what he did he said you know what it's my time it's my time John soak up with 35 pounds and 11 ounces on the first two days. He's got five in the bag. I need 19 pounds and eight ounces to take that hot seat. New leader, 21 pounds, three ounces, a three day total of 56 pounds, 14 ounces to take the lead. Dustin, you're out of that hot seat, but you're getting paid. Great tournament, brother. Put your hands together, folks, when John pulls out his fish. John loves Florida. Here's the boom right there. Put your hands together, folks. Get loud. You guys are spot on. I'll tell you what. There you go. If you want to wipe your hands, let me complete that sentence. Good Lord. This is, this is G, this is G rated. 56 pounds, 14 ounces. Johnny likes the Harris. Ch Johnny likes any lake that ends in chain. Yeah. Florida. Harris chain. Kissimmee. Been, yeah, Florida's been good. I've, I've top 10 every Florida event I've been in so far, including one win. So it's good to me. I don't I don't know why. I just, uh, I love it here. I love the fish. That was a really good weight, to be honest with you. I had a terrible fishing day. Luckily, I was around a bunch of big fish. I've never lost so many big fish in my life. Uh, and I was going, I broke a rod. I was going nuts. But... For the end of the year, for me, start to a new, you know, new season next year and everything like that, I couldn't be happier coming in with 21 pounds, maybe get a top 10 out of this, obviously get a top 10 out of this deal and go home with some money. Yeah, John, for those folks out there that don't know, he is qualified. He's in the gauntlet in the Bass Opens. He will be an elite uh, uh, angler next year with the Bassmaster. We congratulated him along with Dustin uh, Smith. He also, or Brian Smith, excuse me, will also be, we will be your biggest fans. You're going to take over that hot seat. we got a couple of beverages over there for you, and we'll see how this thing folds out. You want to say anything else? Yeah, I want to thank all my sponsors. No, I can't individually in my head right now, but I definitely want to thank my wife, the Bass Tank, Express Boats, Yamaha. You guys have been with me this whole entire year. Pradco, Booyah, Yum, Sunline, Afco, Pro Guide Batteries, my Lithium. Yeah, obviously, you guys, anybody that's looking for Garmin, look at the Bass Tank, thebasstank.com. That's what we do is sell electronics, specializing in forward shooting sonar. We've been forward shooting pioneers from the very beginning. All right, perfect. Say, take your seat right there, my man. We got a couple beverages for you. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Day three, finally over. End up in seventh place. Another top ten and, and, and just an amazing way to end the season. Very thankful that I get in the season with the top ten. Good finish. I actually end up finishing third 
in AOI. So something I'm proud of. I always chase for the points. I always want to do good in England of the year. Year one, I finished in fourth. So I actually bettered that, even though I had two wins in year one. Uh, year two, no wins, but finished in third in England of the year. Like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop those comments, share this with your friend. Till next time, guys, I hope you're catching fish.